Shalom. I want to start by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, and Kokrodash, the bonus, my teachers, the Apostle Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect, and Shalom to the 130 Asherala, who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, but before losing their true heritage, were known as the Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's uh, video, I want to go ahead and get into uh, covering what the Lake of Fire is in the Bible. Uh, this is spoken of in Revelations um, 20 and 10 when John is taken up in, in, in uh, his vision that he has during what's described in the book of Revelations. And he talks about seeing a lake of, of hell where basically Babylon the Great once was. And he also talks about seeing UFOs. Now... This is also where you get the misconception of where hell's going to be. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get into this today, but this is more than likely what John was taking a look at. Because you see, the lake of fire is going to ultimately be America in the future. Um, because the Bible that is described that's destroyed Egypt, ancient Egypt. Is going to be the same God who's going to destroy Babylon the Great, who we know through prophecy and by its actions that that would be America and its allies. So what you're seeing happening right now, people, is basically biblical prophecy. You don't have to believe in the Bible. It's not religion, because there's no such thing as religion. All religion is man-made. What you're seeing happening is the timeline we're currently on but described in the Bible, right? Through through old narratives that people that come from the Middle East, like John, when well, he was taking a look at this, right? So we're gonna go ahead and go through these scriptures and explain why John said that that these what we know as UFO, who he called chariots or uh, or uh, clouds of heaven. This is the uh, scene. This is Revelations 20 and 10. And the devil that deceived them cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophets are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. And I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away and there was found no place for them. And they're basically talking about... Um, Edom right there, right? Because there's going to be no place left for Edom to, to, to survive. And ultimately, when it, uh, it goes on and it talks to you about the brimstone and, and, the, and the lake of fire, it's because John gets taken up into this vision and he sees Babylon the Great Fallen. So, let me continue. This is uh, verse 12. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God and the books were open and another book was open and which is the book of life and the and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the book according to their works so see the books that they're going to be you know be uh, um, that are going to be open and that you're going to be judged out of the book of life that's the holy bible right so when you read the bible that's the book that you're going to be judged from so it doesn't matter if 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 you're a buddhist or you know, you believe in any other type of man-made religion. Ultimately, the laws that that the world needs to be governed by come from the Bible. That's the basic. Uh, there's a there's an acronym people use in the world for Bible, which means basic instruction before leaving Earth. Right? It's basically the the life's uh, it's the life's uh, instruction manual, and in it you find out who are the people who actually should be in charge of this place we know as Earth. What you have to do to continue to live in, in, a, in a good, cohesive uh, um, nature with Earth, and then, but, but what's happened now is, is the world has been deceived, right? And that's what it goes back to where it says the devil would be considered like the so-called white man, or Edom, as it describes in the book of Obadiah. The devil, Edom, the de that deceived them, right? And who's the them? The them are the... Uh, the people of the world who are, have been deceived 
right? The whole world has been deceived because of Eden's, uh, uh, you know, getting getting the earth drunk on on its theory, on its wine, on the on the wine of Babylon, right? Where the so-called Edomites go, that's where the um, you start seeing liberal views come into play. You start seeing uh, let your child choose their own gender or You'll start seeing uh, GMOs being processed in, into the into the earth. Corporations getting their hands on, on local environment. What you're seeing going down in Venezuela and stuff like that is the uh, is the standing of, of of the tribe of Asher. Now it tells you that Asher is going to have uh, you know I kind of paraphrase it something about he's going to have feet of uh, shoes of iron and brass. So that's why he's standing so strong against Esau, right? The Lord is, and also he gives. Uh, Putin and China uh, leeway to do what they're going to do, right? Which is explained here. Even America knows that that we're coming close to the World War Three, which is going to kick off this vision, and ultimately it's going to, you know, culminate in the the uh, world powers coming together against America and its allies, and um, and and using the nuclear weapons against it to destroy it. And then in doing so, you're going to see these UFOs. But let me also get to this other vision, or other uh, part of Revelation. It says, Revelations 9 and 18, A third of mankind was killed by the three plagues of fire, smoke and sulfur, that came out of their mouths. Right? So ultimately, uh, a third part of man is going to be de uh, destroyed, right? So we have seven and a half billion people on earth. So basically... Take, a, take one third out of that. That's how many people are going to be removed from the entire earth and stuff. Right? And that's mostly going to just be the Edomites. Right? But and this is where you're going to see. So you're going to see the world thrown into calamity. And you're going to see the chariots of the Lord, which, you know, a lot of people consider UFOs. They're going to start coming back. And this is what John was, was witnessing when he was up in his, seeing his revelations. This is Malachi 4 and 1. And behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all proud, yea, all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahushai of hosts, and it shall leave them neither root nor branch. See, so the Lord here was just basically saying, you know, this there's gonna be a day that comes where all this is gonna burn. And stuff, and that and he was referring to the uh, the second death, which is ultimately uh, the twin death of, uh, of the first death, which would have been the great flood of Noah, which they've proven, you know, it's happened. There's been that 400 plus rise in sea level, which has drowned uh, tons of uh, ancient sites. You know, I know they found uh, Atlantis and stuff, or the, the Eye of Sahara, the Deckhart structure and stuff. They're starting to bring that out now. So, so there's proof that that these world phenomena that are described in the Bible has happened, and it's because the, it's the truth. And the second coming, the second death, which has been prophesied, which is going to be the, a nuclear disaster or nuclear war, it's going to culminate with what you, everybody knows as UFOs coming back. So this is why it's time to wake up, find out what you know you need to do. Um, you know, this right here, this truth, is really for the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, but it isn't it isn't primarily for 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 those specific groups, because the the seed of Israel. Has gone into every one of the nations. You're going to have Israelites or the seed of Israel come out of every nation. So if if, if you're with this truth, if you understand that the Lord is not the that white so-called Jesus, his name is not Jesus. You understand that the Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians are the are are, are primarily the descendants of, of Israel, along with the confusion of faces. You understand that the so-called Caucasians are the Edomites described in the Bible. Who are going to get the Obadiah 118 you know if, if this truth resonates with you you understand that religion is false doctrine that this is about a heritage the book is really about the Negroes Latinos Native Indians the Israelites and and, uh, and what that entails and all the laws of the Bible then you're good right but ultimately this truth is for the Negroes Latinos Native Indians for the elect of these people to come out because again it even tells you in our in, in, in our our people that there's only going to be uh, one-third that make it out out of our people out of every 
uh, you know, out of every three Negro Latino Native Indians that you know, only one of them are going to make it out of this thing alive. Two of those three are going to die just because either uh, they got the beast took them through some sort of, uh, of something in their life, or they just didn't believe in this truth. All right? So they're the only people going to make it out of out of the Negro Latinos and Native Indians are going to be one third of them plus the 144,000 elect, or what what right what you would call the house of david the lord has brought these men back in this time to learn this truth and to and, you know and lord lord willing that's that's us and stuff you know and you gotta honestly just look around and find out who is out there prophesizing and explaining what the bible is so let's go ahead and get into um i just want to go ahead and touch some points on second nazareth so and this chariot so and this is second uh, this is Ezra having the same vision that John has seen. This is Second Ezra 15 to 34. Behold, clouds from the east and from the north and on to the south, and uh, they are very horrible to look upon, full of wrath and storm. And that's these. That's these chariots and UFOs. So again, this is is shortly to come upon America and upon the world. So this is why if you're a Negro, Latino, and Native Indian, it behooves you to, to wake up. Because as we're going to read here, it tells you here that the Pentagon is planning for war with China and Russia. You know, can't it handle both? And basically, the answer is no, because it's going to come down to nuclear missiles. You know, it tells you here uh, that America isn't, you know, isn't doing as well and stuff. But then when you look over here too, America, it says America accuses China of preparing for World War Three. But you're not being told. And ultimately, you got these world powers, they're, they're lining up. And this is what the whole Venezuela standoff is about. You're having these, uh, you got, see, China's slick, and they're basically, just like they, they copy their manufactured stuff that you take to China, they've, all, they've also manufactured Edom's, um, way of taking rulership man with the whole economic hitman china they have a foot in in venezuela because they lent venezuela billions of dollars in loans which venezuela I, I isn't going to be able to pay back and now those those properties are now turning to china so now that america wants to invade venezuela that's basically like an attack on china and then you also have russia there and Russia wants to be there because just how America and NATO are on Russia's foot foot uh, footsteps, uh, Russia wants to return the favor and have some sort of military and arms. And like the Bible tells you, it's gonna he's gonna be a protector onto these other nations, right? He's gonna put his nukes there. He's already flown two of his nuclear bombers to Venezuela. And then you just got Iran, who has, you know, they took down Babylon before. They're gonna take down Babylon again. And this is going to be, it, it tells you, this is the, in a Second Ezra 6 and 9, it says, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of that which followeth. And Jacob being the Negro Latino Native Indian, those are the, the, the true Israelites of the Bible. Those are the, the men who, should, who are to be ruling the world when the Lord comes back. We'll be ruling the world with them. So, and, and when that happens, all righteousness is going to be put back into the earth. You're not going to see any of these crazy stories that you hear on, on the news. You know, people are going to have a, a, a decent life. So we're about to get some crazy times, Akim. And it tells you here in Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep His commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment. And every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. So, that's why it's good to understand, you know, who you are in this world. Understand, you know, what the Bible actually is. Because it's not religion, man. It's basically, it's the truth of how this world should be ran. Starting with identity. The judge of the world is coming back. And just as any case can begin or any uh, session can begin the defendants and the plaintiffs all have to be identified 
And that's what the Lord's doing. He's bringing back the identities of the people by breaking the, the covering cast, which the devil has put upon people. And he's also bringing back his, his elect and his people, bringing them back into, to, to, uh, into prominence, right? Into, into consciousness to, to let them understand that he, he put us into slavery and he put us to sleep. So this is why we've got to return back to him now in the proper form, right? Understand who you are. Understand, you know, who the 12 tribes of Israel are, right? Come back to your truth. You call him the Lord's name in the proper name, Yahweh, and, his, and the Son's name, Yahweh Shai, right? These are the proper Paleo-Hebrew interpretations. These are the words that Moses spoke when he was up on Sinai. So, all right, Akiyam, so hopefully this video is edifying. Hopefully, uh, uh, it's a view, so till the next time, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekha Kodash, Dabonah, to my teachers, the apostles, and Shalom to the house of David. Shalom.